Hello, CTEC families, community members, students, and business partners. I am Assistant Principal James Weber, and I'll be taking you through a question and answer session tonight in regards to CTEC's reentry plan for the fall of 2020. Many of you saw Principal Rhodes in my video earlier and prompted you to submit great questions on a forum. Please understand that you will all get your questions individually responded to on the forum at the, by the end of this week. And know that as things change, um, we are trying not to act in haste, but act with the best and most accurate information we can. So we're to, to not confuse anyone. Um, but as we went through our forum and through emails and phone calls we've received, we've come up with the, the outline here as to answer these questions. So we'll start off tonight with answering just some general questions. We'll get into the schedule. This is kind of the nitty gritty. That's where a lot of the questions lie is, um, when, when is my student going to school? What classes will they be taking? Then we'll talk about the, the extra supports that students at CTEC have. Students receive amazing support at their residential high school. And CTEC's kind of like icing on the cake in the sense that then they get additional supports and a lot of them when they come to CTEC. So congratulations for year ones for being part of an amazing program. And um, year two, as you, know, you guys know the support you get, it's gonna be a great year. Then we'll move into talking about some industry connections that we have and about how the business partners in our community is 100% behind us. And we'll end tonight with um, some some just outline of communication and how we plan to move forward uh, through this school year. So some of the general questions that we received, and again, it's the majority of questions surfaced around these specifics, um, was the official start date of school for comprehensive distance learning. Um, and, and this is about three weeks ago is when we got these. So we are, um, you know, uh, shifting and changing stances as more information as things change as things change daily and weekly um, so just here's an outline of kind of what's going to be um, on the horizon so the week of september 8th teachers are going to start calling your houses your students and just checking in they're going to have information about the specifics of their courses what websites to log on to and also checking in to see if you the family and the student have the resources needed so chromebooks internet and what concerns might you have um, as we start this comprehensive distance learning so that's the week of september 8th now that's moving into then the official start week the official start date is going to be the week of september 14th Teachers still might be reaching out to check in and to, and to um, listen to you and the needs and concerns, but technically the official start day where students need to be on their computer, logged in, ready to go, is September 15th at 8.15 a.m. That's period one. We'll start at 8.15 in the morning on September 15th. And we're going to have more information about the specific schedule and times as we continue this presentation. A big question that a lot of us are asking is when will kids be allowed on campus? When will our students be allowed on campus? And our answer there is local government officials will determine that. Um, CTEC, uh, we might be getting an, an exception. Again, please um, emphasize the might there in regards to some students might be allowed to come back earlier than other students because they are building a home or working on a car or um, you know developing a new um, video game process. Um, and so we don't know that right now, but our local government officials will let us know when it is safe to return um, to doing some face-to-face. -face. Another general question is when must kids be online? So when must the students be online? Um, and students need to be online during the interactive teacher facilitated periods. They must be online. So um, the law states that school age children must go to school and receive their education. So uh, this is a lot different than the spring. In the springtime, we had what we called asynchronous learning where teachers would post everything on a Monday and then students had the whole week to go through and complete the tasks and projects that the teachers assigned um, really independently. We're going away from that 
because we want the face to the, the interactive instruction. We want the students to see the teachers via the computer, to engage with them, to get real-time feedback. We know that's how the best learning occurs when a student attempts something and tries and they have an educator right there alongside them to say, great work, great job, however you miss this one thing. Um, that's where the learning and the magic really happens. So during the interactive teacher facilitated periods, students must be online, attendance will be taken. We've had a handful of parents ask, can students work full time? We would never tell you that students cannot work full time. That is not our decision as, as educators. However, what we can tell you is students must be engaged in their classes. Um, each, each case is so individual. That's a case by case basis. Um, what does full time mean? Is that 40 hours? Is it eight to five? Is it five to one in the morning? I, I, we don't know. Um, if you have a case by case basis and would like to ask that question, please communicate uh, individual specifics. Um, again, we won't say yes or no, but what we will say as educators is your student needs to be engaged and ready to learn during the time that the teachers have their facilitated periods. Um, an update on CTEC specific events. So normally for year ones, we have what's called a boot camp. So a couple of days that students come in to kind of learn the ropes of CTEC. What is CTEC all about? Where, who are my classmates? What are my teachers like? Um, we are not doing that boot camp this year due to um, resources and also due to the, the unknown nature that is changing in front of us. Um, but I do know that our teachers are planning this whole week and next week and they are ready to engage your student, to welcome them in a very, very um, positive manner to get them onboarded, um, just like they would in boot camp. And then also for the first year students, a huge day for us, the pinnacle, what the highlight of some of the year for CTEC is our um, signing day that we have in the spring, really congratulating and highlighting the student achievements by, by taking a leap of faith and taking a step towards your success, towards a competitive advantage where students sign and get to get a hat and that's been postponed so it has not been canceled it's been postponed so all of our students will get that experience again depending on what local government officials say it is safe to come back in some face-to-face -face capacity so please stay tuned for signing day so here in front of us now is the um, residential high school and CTEC daily bell schedule so we shifted to a four by four. Students will be taking four classes a day. And then a four by four would be we're in quarters. So four classes a day for um, a quarter of the, for, for nine weeks. So a quarter of the school year. So every nine weeks, your student will be have a grade submitted and put on their transcript. And students will be in classes, uh, four classes, throughout the whole week. Period one starts at 8.15 to 9.40. At your residential high schools, there'll be an advisory period from 9.45 to 10. Period two starts 10.05 to 11.30. Lunch is an extended lunch. It's 50 minutes, and we'll get into why we chose that in a second here, but it's from 11.30 to 12.20. Period three then is 12.25 to 1.50, and period four is 1.55 to 3.20. Really, for the CTEC families and students, I really want to focus on this. Please hear this loud and clear. 8.15 start, 3.20 end. Depending on if you're a year one or year two, the next slide will get into the specifics of that. But really important to know, 8.15 start, 3.20 end. So this is, this is a dense slide. It has a lot of information. This slide here talks about a CTEC specific schedule if your student is a year one or year student and if they are in a Tuesday, Thursday cohort or a Wednesday, Friday cohort. If you see my cursor here moving around, this top schedule here is an example schedule for a year one CTEC student in the Tuesday, Thursday cohort. What that means is on Tuesdays and Thursdays, that's where they're gonna get their real-time teacher-facilitated education. So a year one student, 
let's just focus on this first column here. A year one student will be going to CTEC periods one and two, starting at 8.15. After lunch, then they'll be logging in and doing their residential high school real-time in the teacher facilitated learning. So all of the students are also part of their residential high school and they have CTEC periods one and two. That's for year one students. So students that are first time at CTEC, students that applied last year that are now accepted into their amazing program of study. This is a student on a Tuesday, Thursday cohort. So on Tuesday, real time, teacher facilitated learning, and on Wednesday is applied CTEC learning. This is where they're gonna go deep with their learning. This is where they're gonna have the independent study that the teachers have given them here. They still have the ability to, to check in with teachers, office hours, ask questions via online, chat, but they won't have that direct instruction during this time. So year one students, Tuesday, Thursday cohort, teacher facilitated learning, applied learning, teacher facilitated learning, applied learning. Again, Tuesday, Thursday is integration, integrated learning. Wednesday, Friday is the applied learning. So this is where they're doing the work. They're still checking in, they're logging in, but they won't have a teacher there. There'll be assignments there for them to go deep with. And all year one students will be at CTEC periods one through two, and then their periods three through four will be their residential high school. Now, that being compared to a year two student, so a year two student, here's an example of a year two student in the Wednesday, Friday cohort. So year two students will always be doing their CTEC periods three through four. We wanted to keep it consistent so there wasn't confusion with families and community on year one, year two, what cohort. So there's a little more consistency here that you just know that if you're a year one, 8.15 to 11.30, you're engaged with CTEC the whole week. If you're a year two, 1225 to 320, you're engaged with CTEC the whole week. The, the specifics of what happens in between these times, your students are incredibly well taken care of at CTEC. We will have so many people at the ready to answer questions, to guide, to check in, to, to coach, to motivate during this time. So it's just really important here, year two students, periods three and four, year one students, periods one and two. If you have questions about this, please give us a call, email. I know it's a lot of information here. Lunch is 50 minutes and that's in order to accommodate students that are going to the lunch site. So students might have to walk to an elementary school or walk to a neighborhood school to receive their lunch and then come back home. So we have a slightly longer lunch during this time though, our faculty are still available to answer questions um, during parts of this time and, um, and to go ahead and help your student. So again, here is, I just, this is a repetitive slide, but to reiterate the times, 8.15 to 3.20 p.m., your student is engaged with school, attendance will be taken, and they're learning, experiencing, and completing projects and tasks and being graded on them um, um, on, on the daily. So student support at CTEC. So our resident high schools do a phenomenal job of supporting your students in our community, our business partners, everything that we do in Salem Kaiser. Our resident high schools have amazing counselors, faculty, administration, um, and just being at CTEC, it's almost like getting double of that. So it's almost getting double of the support that you receive at your resident high school. Um, everything we do at CTEC is student focused. Student is at the center. What are your students' goals, your dreams? What do they want to achieve? Who do they want to become? And how do we help them get there? So we'll start up here with teacher. Our program staff at CTEC um, are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we have 2.5 full-time teachers in each program, and we have a ton of support um, outside of the program staff. We have a full-time counselor ready to support all the student needs. We have amazing instructional assistants that many of them, if not all of them, have in-depth experience in the industry where they understand the skill sets and really how the industry is adapting to this um, to this 
time period we're in right now with the pandemic and just to be there in addition to support your student and we have phenomenally industry trained teachers some of them have spent 30 years within their industry before entering into education and so they have not only mastered the skill of teaching your student and really educating them but they've also mastered the understanding of the industry so what are the ins and outs how do you get a competitive advantage in the industry what are the skills necessary to really really follow your passions and dreams. So we have absolutely amazing teacher support. Our community support just paralleled with the teacher support. We have our business liaisons, which are um, uh, partners with the Salem Kaiser Chamber of Commerce. They are at the ready right now, every day, calling businesses, knocking on business doors, checking in on them, saying, what do you need? What are entry level positions? How do we best train our students for your industry? And they're bringing those industries in, those business partners in, in our community for um, virtual experiences, guest speakers. Um, so your student not only learns from our amazing staff here, but they're all also being taught by our business partners, which are just so bought in. That goes to the second bullet here. Our business partner partners are 100% ready to support CTEC, ready to support your students, especially at these times. Everything we do at CTEC is industry driven. Our curriculum has an industry focus. Our integrated curriculum, so math and English and science and social studies, is all through the lens of the industry that your student has a passion for. And then just to help out with all of that, we do have a full-time career center, which our amazing counselor um, supports the career center. So if your student decides, you know what, I want to go on to the next level of college, um, we'll help um, your student, your family apply for the FAFSA, write the scholarships, um, look at what is Oregon Promise. And let's say that college isn't really in the outlook. That's awesome. Perfect. Awesome. So let's get that resume in tip top shape. Let's write that cover letter, right? Let, let's look and see what opportunities are out there. So not only do we have our business partners, we have a career center ready to connect them. In regards to our specialists, uh, in regards to education, we have an amazing instructional coach that is that comes around, helps our teachers hone in on their skills, you know, teachers, faculty, administration, and students to really, um, again, focus on that passion. Why are you really here at CTEC? What do you want to achieve? And then how can we shape instruction to get there? Uh, the, our students that are receiving services, we have an amazing special education liaison that, that works almost as a dual case manager. So again, it's that double level of support that your student gets at CTEC that we're going to make sure that they are taken care of, questions are answered. If there's confusion, we have got it covered. Um, we got amazing people support your student. We have some individualized supports too. We have an awesome English language support system. So if, if your student, if English is not their first language, we have ways that we can support them. We have an amazing instructional assistant that supports the students with their English language development. And the last bullet point here really is all of this. It's called our MTSS support team. So that's our multi-tiered systems of supports. So we have metrics that we will be looking at with the students. And if if some, it, like let's say a student is um, falling behind in their grades, we have a whole team that's going to come in to support, to motivate, to coach, to help translate whether it be a language barrier or whether it be an assignment barrier so to help if the students like i just don't understand what the teacher's saying there's an additional adult there to help translate what that um, teacher is saying much like in this presentation um, what i'm presenting might not be understood and that's okay we all hear and listen differently we do we need to cherish that and so um, if you need additional translation for this presentation please call email and um, we'll have more information on how you do that um, as we go on so there's a 17 to 1 student to faculty ratio at CTEC, and all of this leads to a 98 plus percent graduation rate. So we're so excited. We have amazing faculty that are ready to serve you and your student. Um, our industry connections. So we are still having our quarterly, what are called IACs. Those are industry advisory committees. They're still active and engaged. So we have industry come in quarterly to meet with our faculty, meet with our teachers and really go through what are we doing? Are we meeting the industry level standards? Are we staying up to date on our skills that we're teaching? Um, and what opportunities are out there for our students? So our, our business partners are still actively engaged in CTEC. 
Um, and with that, then, not just our IEC members, but all of our business partners, they offer industry-specific lessons for our teachers, guest speaking opportunities, virtual tours, um, tours, um, and, and just opportunities to really go deep. Uh, last spring, when we were doing our distance learning, we had um, people from Hollywood virtual in Hollywood producers. We had top level manufacturers, engineers, architects. Um, they're really excited about the opportunity to now touch base with us here in Salem, Oregon, even if they're not from Salem, Oregon. And, our, um, and with that, then as industry presenters, is they're just ready to present and educate and really be partners with us. And saying, you know, we have our school district, but also we have the backing and the support of Mountain West, which just allows us to have these amazing industry partners and, and, and to give your students that additional experience on top of a phenomenal academic experience, but also that industry level experience. So the communication throughout the year. Um, first bullet point, I, I hope we all understand this, and things uh, will change. There will be changes as we progress throughout the year. Um, in any business, in any profession, in any life, we know that things happen in a blink of an eye, and we have to adapt and alter our stance and be ready to take them on. Um, CTEC is ready. CTEC was ready. CTEC is ready. And we are uh, excited about this opportunity to support and serve and to listen, to listen and understand to the needs out there of our community. So please uh, communicate via email, phone, website, etc., with any and all of your questions. There's a forum on our website. You could email, call. We have people now at the front office working um, during normal hours uh, every day. And so please, 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 if you have any questions, the best thing, the, the, the only way we know is if we are communicated with, and then we will communicate out as well. Um, a way to stay up to date is to follow CTEC on Facebook and other social media platforms for up-to-date information. We're on, Facebook, we're on uh, Instagram and just uh, staying up to date on the uh, Salem Kaiser School District's main COVID response website. So please uh, bookmark CTEC's website for additional information. And uh, we will do our best this year, and we're not just going to do our best. We will communicate fully and um, and transparently with with how we are adapting to this to, to these changes. Um, again, every life, every business will adapt, and we are ready. We've been ready to uh, to really serve you and your student. Again, this is Assistant Principal James Weber. It has been my pleasure to speak with you through this presentation. Uh, if you have further questions, concerns, comments, please go ahead and send us an email or call us at your earliest convenience. I, we are excited for September 15th. We'll be calling all of you on the, during the week of September 8th. And um, go ahead and uh, just get ready for an amazing year. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.